So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back. Drones, drones, drones. Now, I know everything we've heard so far about drones has been good, has been progressive, advancing technology, using these drones to advance and do different things, right? But there's also a flip side to that, right? I was just sitting here listening and they said a drone was reported, one of the news channels reported, a drone was seen dropping can dropping candy near kids where they were fishing. So that made me start thinking about all these predatory people out there could now be using drones. So be careful, y'all, be careful. Now, that's not saying what this video is about, <laughs> not, not at all, but that's one thing that it made me think of hearing that before I checked this video out. So be cautious of these drones out there as well. Great technology, but also people use great things to do bad things. You know what I mean? So, but this video here is drone captures what no one was supposed to see part two. All right. So if y'all new, hit that subscribe button, join the fam, tear that like button up and let's check it out. Drones, drones, everywhere drones. They're flying, they're driving, they're filming and they're here. Simple as that. Drones are like spiders. They say you're never further than six feet away from one at any given moment. But don't be scared. Drone technology is doing a lot of good in the world and taking us places we never thought we'd go. It's a glimpse into the center of the earth. It's like listening to the heartbeat of the planet. Or maybe shouldn't go. They help us see things we might never have dreamed possible. And you're about to see what we mean. 15 weird things caught on camera by a drone part two. <laughs> Number 15, flamethrower drone. What do you do when power lines get all kinds of trash hanging from them and it's not safe to send up a human? You send in the drones that shoot fire. Drones in China are being used by an electric power maintenance company to get rid of plastic bags and other debris that gets caught in places that are hard to reach. It carries a weight of 25 pounds and is guided by a man in a hard hat using a 14 channel radio controller. The video shows the tool being used in a testing capacity, replacing a job once delegated to humans on cranes. Maintenance workers demonstrated the removal of the long nylon net entwining around a UHV with the flamethrower drone. The nylon net was brought by a strong wind and severely affected the line's safe operation. Workers flew the flamethrowing drone towards the net, spitting fire at the nylon net and burning it to the ground. In 10 minutes, the power line resumed its normal operation. Is any of this 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Now I've never worked on power lines, but I, I would definitely like to ask some guys, how long, how long does that job typically take? Like <laughs> I guarantee it's going to be way longer than 10 minutes, you know, especially if you out there trying to be extra safe and cautious. So yeah, yeah, that's insane. Cut amount of the time. I just hope that don't cut nobody out of a job though. For real is safe who knows but after watching this video hopefully you've gained a new appreciation of flying robots and what they're capable of it could also be a little terrifying seeing yes. a flamethrower drone yes. just saying now let's get ready for today's open discussion can you believe that a drone accidentally captured this strange discovery in mexico it looks like an island in the middle of a volcano one that's been skillfully carved into some sort of olympic sized ritualistic altar or alien portal looking almost like a cauldron on the moon. But if you're trying to get on this island on foot, forget about it. Literally, floor is lava. A drone, on the other hand, this has to be one of the weirdest things caught on camera by a drone. Question is, what do you think it could be? How did it get here? And what do you think created this mysterious Mexican island in a volcano? Maybe it was used by some ancient civilization before the land became too inhospitable, and this drone has captured a relic from the past. Who can say? There's got to be a reason. Sound off in the comments below. Use the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Chimp Attack. This footage was filmed at the Royal Burger Zoo, one of the biggest zoos in the Netherlands. A cameraman strapped a camera to a drone to film sweeping aerial shots from inside the chimpanzee enclosure. But their film was cut short when an angry ape resident uses a branch to smash the drone from the sky. The camera survives the fall, only to be picked up by a chimp. Yo, 
my Panzi, bad. Who, my bad. I'm I'm rooting for the for the chimp, man. I, I was rooting for the chimp because he's like, man, listen, bro, I don't get no privacy or nothing. <laughs> Took that stick and tore it down. Inadvertently uses it to film a selfie. Chimps share 98.7% of their DNA with humans and have a lot of the same traits. They're known for being intelligent social and violent animals that live in complex societies and they're stronger than humans despite being smaller in fact they're about 1.35 times more powerful than us and as drones become an increasingly common presence in our skies now they've messed with our closest living ancestors and have paid the price as you can see the wily chimp got right to work climbing up to the drone and attacking it with sticks creative use of tools opposable thumbs take that you flying robot According to the zookeeper, the entire clan then descended on the downed drone and made sure it would never fly again. The attached camera, however, survived. Number 13. Drone with Claws A Japanese company in the business of drones has unveiled a new model with custom-developed robotic arms for completing hands-on operations, literally. The drone's capabilities show it flexing its claws in mid-air delivering water and flotation devices and confidently carrying away a metal chair like a bird of prey. The Claude model was showcased at a drone expo held in Las Vegas. Though its arms can carry approximately 25 pounds, the drone has a maximum payload to 44 pounds. It can fly for up to 30 minutes at about 35 miles an hour on a single charge. According to its manufacturers, the drone can perform a variety of operations at high altitudes, over long distances, and in places where it would be too dangerous for humans, including grasping cargo, cutting cables, turning dials, flicking switches, dropping life-saving buoys, and retrieving hazardous material. The extent of these possibilities captured the imagination of the internet, of course, with tech journalists and social media users speculating about its applications for good and bad but there's strong demand for drones to be able to directly perform specific hands-on operations. Number 12. Bro, that could, that could go so many different, they could go so many different ways with that, places with that. Think about that. You're, depending on the speed of the drone, think about you get caught by the current in a stream somewhere or, or down a rapid or something like that, and it's taking you in an you 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 up and a drone just come through and you're able to grab it and it's able to support your body weight and pull you up out of there that would be fire bro fire you know what i mean now how do you somebody let them know how long you can survive but i'm just just thinking ahead though giant crap circle this circle was reported in 2021 in wiltshire uk Stonehenge's lesser-known cousin. It's a world heritage site, home to one of the greatest marvels of prehistoric Britain. And now this. The hinge and the stones that encircle it date back to the Neolithic period and was used as a ceremonial site where religious rituals took place. Now though, it's a hot spot for UFO and alien sightings, though the hidden military base a few miles away may have something to do with the strange lights often seen in the night sky, along with the state-of-the-art drones cruising the area. And this drone footage of the crop circle only makes us wonder if we're indeed being visited. This giant crop circle is no joke, or is it? Reports of- I'm starting to think these crop circles are a way for them to make us think that they want us to think it's UFO so they can hide something else is what I'm starting to believe with some of this stuff here. Mysterious patterns appearing in wheat, barley, and cornfields in this area began to circulate in the 1970s, but it was in the late 80s that the phenomenon seemed to be everywhere. Circles began to appear more frequently and had become far more ornate. Some resembled trippy fractals and hieroglyphs, others stylized animals. The intricacy and size of the formations, plus the fact that they would appear overnight, seemingly out of nowhere, baffles locals and farmers to this day. Number 11. Wild Bear Hunts Drone Bears often splash around where the river feeds into the ocean, stirring up tasty fish. You don't have to be a skilled hunter or park ranger to know never to get in the way of a feeding bear. So this drone, as you can see, has some really bad timing. The classic grizzly bear image of a massive golden brown bear is a reality. But a hungry grizzly bear can be as little as 250 pounds in the spring after hibernating. A grizzly's front claws can reach up to four inches in length, claws as long as human fingers. It's highly advisable you avoid these, as this drone is about to find out. 
Plus, bears are fast. They can run more than 37 miles an hour. That's twice as fast as an Olympic sprinter. I need people to hear that because a lot of us, I know I did for the longest. I looked at bears and was like, oh, man, I, I could probably outrun it until they started telling me how fast they could run. You hear that 30-something miles an hour, bro? You're not, <laughs> you're not outrunning him at all. I know he looks like he might be slow, but no. Not Unlike people, bears can be empathetic, fearful, joyful, playful, social, and irritated. They're all individuals and have unique personalities. Cubs, as well as older bears, engage in social play and have ways to greet strangers and decide if they're friendly or not. This bear clearly doesn't want to make friends with that drone, that's for sure. Bears treat humans just as they would other bears. The problem is that bears are very physical with each other, with the intentional use of bites, swats, or body posturing. The drone just won't quit, however. You know what they say, don't poke the bear. Number 10. Hoverman. Hoverboards aren't a new concept, but new breakthroughs in this tech have made a much more futuristic product possible, as you can see. You too can hover like this Hoverman. The good news for adventure. I fell too many times on a hoverboard to ever get on a hover drone. <laughs> I'm good, bro. Remember when everybody was busting their butts on them hoverboards when they came out? Yeah, I was one of them. As you can see, you too can hover like this hoverman. The good news for adventure seekers, these boards will be made available to the public soon. A company claims to have created the first flying hoverboard. From American TV commercials to Japanese primetime TV, the achievement of producing the first flying hoverboard garnered attention unlike anything we could have ever imagined. The designers, called Omni Hoverboard, said, we fly for some of the biggest audiences around the world. It looks like it works great if this video is any indication. The company was unable to confirm how many boards would be available, but the company is currently expecting the hoverboards to retail for somewhere between 40 to 50 grand each. That's no cheap toy. And not just anyone can use it. There will be a weight limit of 200 pounds, and the heavier the weight, the shorter the flight time. For now, the hoverboard vehicles are made custom for clients in limited quantities. Number 9. Runaway Elephants As you can see, it's been slow going for Chinese authorities trying to usher these 14 elephants back to their home reserve near the Thai border in southwest China. The whole operation is run by forestry firefighters who keep tabs on the herd with drones as the elephants move through thick forests and villages. They have to rest sometime, right? Global media started paying attention to the roving herd recently as the beast started wreaking havoc through farmlands on a seemingly aimless migration northeast. So media set up live streams to track their journey, and millions have tuned in to see the animals traveling antics, including raiding farms, visiting a car dealership, and napping in fields. When the elephants enter populated areas, the task force cuts the power to prevent the giants from electrocuting themselves or starting fires. They send everyone indoors, then deposit bananas and other food to persuade the elephants to keep moving. In the latest installment of drone videos, the headquarters in charge of monitoring the elephant migration think the herd may be heading back home. However, determining the herd's specific routes will need further research, officials say. The herd is already some 300 miles away from home as it is. Number 8. Fishing Drone Florida's got a problem, and it's spiny, sneaky, and hard to spook. The lionfish first made its way to the American waters from the South Pacific in the 1980s as the... I, why was I thinking they was talking about gators, though? <laughs> Did anybody else think? Okay, we know they got a gator problem. The lionfish first made its way to the American waters from the South Pacific in the 1980s as the popular aquarium pet. It now reigns terror up and down the salty reaches of the eastern United States and Bermuda, with some places hosting hundreds of individuals in a single acre. They have a voracious appetite and few known predators making them nearly impossible to control. The answer to this dilemma, a remotely operated vehicle, ROV, that uses a harpoon gun to exterminate its roughly target. The exotic maroon striped creatures don't go to lures and are tough to catch in nets. Plus, the species isn't too wary of humans. The Reef Sweeper drone is designed to snag lionfish lurking well below the water surface. On land, a trained employee uses a joystick to home in on the target, almost like a video game. Right now, Florida is testing the Reef Sweeper prototype with a killing capacity of 150 fish per trip, but its spear can reload every 10 seconds, cutting down the time it takes to deploy the machine. 
Ultimately, the goal is to have each ROV bag 1,000 lionfish a day. Number seven, drone law and order. Police in China don't have to pull drivers over to warn them of traffic offenses. Now they can just bark orders from hovering drones. Episode one, a state broadcaster aired footage of a traffic police using a drone to tell a scooter rider to put on his helmet. Check it out. After realizing the disembodied voice was speaking to him, the rider sheepishly complied with the drone's demands. What does remind y'all of? Remember when everybody got so scared when they started putting cameras up? Those traffic, when they put them cameras up around the traffic lights and stuff? Like, that's what this instantly made me think of, even though they, they couldn't speak through those cameras. But if you ran that light, you, you'd be nervous now for the next several months because you're waiting on that ticket to come through. You know what I mean? Now drones probably is going to re replace that and, and take it somewhere even further. That response could indicate that people in China are becoming, or perhaps, or perhaps already are, desensitized to the nation's surveillance efforts. Drones are no big deal to these folks. <laughs> After all, China is already home to arguably the world's most extensive network of facial recognition equipped security cameras. It closely monitors and controls citizens' online activity. Compared to all that, a police drone that monitors and bosses around citizens as they navigate Chinese streets probably does seem like no big deal, and it appears to work pretty well. Drones have been allowed to monitor traffic violations since 2019. Since then, they have helped to identify more than 2,000 traffic offenses in the city. It's probably got her for being on her phone. Drone law and order. Number six, abandoned polar bear house. Polar bears took up residence in a rather unusual place recently, a decrepit, abandoned weather station on the small remote island in the Arctic tundra of northeastern Siberia, several hundred miles away from the Alaskan coast. We're talking remote. The polar bears, all 20 or so, can be seen walking about outside and lazing around the abandoned weather station. They even appear to be nuzzling up to one another while others inside peer through windows from the decaying structures. One is even seen standing on a stoop. The females kept close to the few cubs that accompanied the adult bears. Capturing these incredible shots of the bears was a sheer struck of luck. On a trip to the Chukotka region and Wrangell Island, a nature reserve under UNESCO protection, someone on the sailing vessel pulled out binoculars and lo and behold, spotted the white tops of polar bears in the distance. Knowing it was too dangerous to step foot on the island that particular day, they powered a drone equipped with low noise propellers to capture video and photos of the bears as unobtrusively as possible. Capturing the shots took tremendous patience so the bears could get used to the buzzing of the drone. Number five, sausage saves the day. As the tide came in near a town in England, it began to look perilous for this Jack Russell Whippet Cross who had defied the efforts of police, firefighters, and coast guards to pluck her from these treacherous mudflats. The rescuers had to think quickly and came up with the idea of attaching a sausage to a drone and hoping the scent of the treat would tempt Millie, the dog, to safety. And it worked. Sausage wow. saves the day. Millie disappeared after slipping from her leash and was spotted in the mudflats in danger of being engulfed by the tide. She resisted efforts to encourage her to a safer spot until a drone pilot suggested attaching food to one of the unmanned aerial vehicles that had been used to track the dog. It was a crazy idea that they pressed ahead and after checking aviation regulations and the maximum takeoff weight of their machines, the rescuers calculated they could attach a single sausage to a drone. To the joy of the rescuers, Millie took the bait. Though the sausage worked, skittish Millie raced off again, but was finally reunited with her owner. That's probably because y'all didn't give her the sausage in the end. You gotta give the, at least at the end, get the dog the sausage. Every dog in search operation is always going to be different, but if you're ever in a similar situation again, why not employ the sausage method? Number four, Nessie returns. The Loch Ness Monster has been caught again if this video taken by a canoeist drone is to be believed. Footage shows a mysterious black shape on the banks of the lake in Scotland. The drone video zooms in on the dark Nessie-shaped shadow, which wriggles as the camera gets closer. There was no driftwood in the vicinity, and the shadow had the same shape as previous sightings. So there's been over 85 theories of what the Loch Ness Monster is, ranging from wind slicks, reflections, plant debris, and boat wakes to the zoological implausible, anacondas, killer whales, you name it. 
Some rumors have been reinvented independently, showing the ingenuity of each generation of Nessie investigators. For example, the idea that the Loch Ness Monster was originally a swimming elephant from a visiting circus resurfaced three times. We're not getting that from this video. One of the first sightings of old Nessie, believed to have fueled Monster Nessie forever, came in 1933. On this date, the local newspaper carried a story about a local couple who claimed to have seen an enormous animal rolling and plunging on the surface. Fact or fiction? Is this Nessie Returns the sequel? You decide. Number three, strange sinkhole. Sinkholes like this one. Now this is scary right here. This this stuff right here makes me nervous. One or a global geological. Like is the world devouring itself? Logical phenomenon with many causes, but the recent uptick in Turkey's central Kanya region is largely attributed to rapid groundwater. Farmers are forced to tap deep underground wells to irrigate fields amid a nearly three-year-long drought. The sinkhole is huge. Researchers have cataloged more than 2,200 sinkholes in the area, more than 700 of which are deeper than three feet. The largest are hundreds of feet deep. As you can see, a really huge sinkhole opened in Turkey, in the province of Konya, in the southeastern part of central Anatolia. This phenomenon often, but not always, occurs in a type of subsoil where there are carbonate rocks. Caverns are created in the subsoil, which collapse, swallowing everything on the surface and posing a danger to houses and infrastructure. Agriculture activity is said to have accelerated a natural process in which the limestone subsoil is literally dissolved by water. Much needed groundwater for agricultural purposes has lowered the water table in recent years, as reported in a recent scientific study of sinkholes in this area. Another strange sinkhole strikes again. Number two, Volcano Explores. Yeah. Video technology and science converged here in this active volcano in Vanuatu, a South Pacific Ocean nation made up of roughly 80 islands. Camera-mounted drones capture high-definition images of the spectacular yet dangerous Marim Crater. The team piloted the drones over the 7.5-mile-wide caldera while confronting toxic gases and boiling lava. Apparently, the hardest part of flying was the hot air rushing out and cold air getting pulled into the lava lake. The machine would surge forwards, then the hot air would blow, hotter than a hairdryer, and the drone would react. These tropical islands are not only the perfect location for this kind of research, and as you can see, it offers the possibility for adventurous expeditions into some of the most active and spectacular volcanoes of the world. The active lava lakes of Ambrum and the famous constantly erupting volcano Yasur on the island of Tana. Although these two drones succumbed to the harsh environment, the team was able to bring back videos and photos that will help scientists learn more about the volcano and the life around it. Plus, it really showcases how these highly controlled flying cameras might advance science and exploration. Right. Number 1. Man-Shaped Village A small town on the island of Sicily was photographed from the air by a drone, revealing its five-pointed shape. It's called Centurip, and its shape bears an uncanny resemblance to a person, don't you think? The aerial footage reveals four long stretches of buildings jetting off in different directions, like limbs, and a shorter fifth stretch that makes up the head. Seeing the village from above, it's impossible not to notice a similarity with the shape of a person lying on its back, arms and legs open. I see it. I definitely see it. I don't think that was the intent, but I definitely see it though. The shape of the town has been likened to many things. A person, a five-pointed star, a swallow with spread wings, and Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian man drawing. Yeah, I, I just think this is so coincidence though. I don't think this was planned. Thanks to its long history, this village is a real archeological gem. And today, not only the village, but the whole surrounding area is a tourist destination. A local drone operator first discovered the human shape of the town when looking at the town on Google Earth. Seeing an opportunity, he flew his drone as high as he could get above it, and now we get to see the man-shaped village for ourselves. Pretty soon, drones will be taking over if these videos were any indicator. The future is now, it looks like, but you can't deny all the cool things we can do with them, all the places we can go, and the service they can provide. So, like and subscribe. See you next time. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to continue to advance us because it already has advanced us so far. You know what I mean? The animals might not be happy. You know, some people may get cut out of a job. They're not going to be happy. And then you got, like I spoke about in the beginning, the ones who are going to use it for bad. So you have your good, bad, and the ugly. You know what I'm saying? So 
but it's here and we got to learn to live with it. So I can foresee a lot of things coming with those drones as they continue to innovate and update it and do different things and figure out more. It's going to get crazier and crazier. You know what I mean, but y'all let me know about what you feel about the drone captures that you've seen on here today. Plus the story I told y'all about in the beginning. How y'all feel about that? All right. And uh, stick around and stay tuned, man. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.